107. Ring magnets of the kind found in loudspeakers have a central north pole with the opposite south pole actually being all points along the outer circumference. This perfectly demonstrates the magnetism of our flat earth, whereas the alleged source of magnetism in the ball earth model is emitted from a hypothetical molten magnetic core in the center of the ball, which they claim conveniently causes both poles to constantly move, thus evading independent verification at their two ceremonial poles. In reality, the deepest drilling operation in history, the Russian Kola Ultra Deep, managed to get only eight miles down. So the entire Ball Earth model taught in schools showing our crust, outer mantle, inner mantle, outer core, and inner core layers are all purely speculation as we have never penetrated through beyond the crust. Core of the Earth, you know, that you've seen the cutaway. This much is crust and mantle and magma and liquid molten stuff at the center. Um, the deepest hole that's ever been drilled in the history of mankind to date, even with today's technology, eight miles. If you want to say this is what the first eight miles looks like, I will believe you because they can show me the hole. This goes eight miles down, okay? It goes eight miles down. That's how thick is the plane that we live on? It's at least eight miles because <laughs> they've drilled down that far, but they can't go any farther. It just it doesn't work. So it's speculation. What's underneath the flat earth? This is obviously an unanswerable question since the assumed edge has never been known to be reached. But many people suppose that whether the earth is round or flat, that either way, it still must be floating in the middle of outer space. But the idea of outer space goes out the window with the round earth theory. Many religious texts support an immovable earth that has its foundations on which it is laid and its pillars by which it is supported. We simply don't know, but we do know that the earth is obviously fixed in place as we can tell by our everyday experience of non-movement. What we see in the skies above are illuminated objects making circles around us just as it appears. Whatever this place may be, it's the center of all we survey. Deepest hole ever drilled into the earth was a total of about seven and a half miles. The very core of the earth is nothing more than wild speculation, if not another malicious lie. Some say that the earth is the floor of the universe. In the ancient Hebrew conception of the universe, we are surrounded by the waters above and the waters below, known as the Great Deep. 